theme song. Beginning of the video, I wanted to show off some of the natural beauty that's here in Kailua. This is the street I take to into town. Um, this is something I see coming home every day, and I really love the houses going up the hill. I also just wanted to show off how good my camera zoom is. I've been told that this river is extremely polluted, but I have also seen people paddle boating down it. Uh, I'm unable to see sunsets here in Kailua, so I have to make up for that with clouds. I really love all the ridges and details that you can see along the mountain. It's something I can see with my raw eye. I don't need a camera to zoom in on it. I was outside the post office and I saw this bush with a fruit that looked like a grape and I thought that was kind of crazy so that's why I threw that in here. On to more daily life things. This was me mailing off postcards and other packages. Um, this was the first time I ever really went to go get groceries. Uh, my entire basket um, by the handlebars and between my legs was full, and I had a full bag that I had to balance on my legs, which meant the whole way home I could not stop. This was a video of the first time I ever saw a chicken. The first time I went into town, I saw a wild chicken and I thought it was crazy. Uh, turns out they're everywhere here. This was a lot more recent. I got to see ducks. I have never seen them in town any other time. Um, but I just thought that was cool. Honolulu. This video is not the best due to the fact that the bus window was dirty, but it was a really pretty view. This is one of my favorite shops that I've gone to so far. It's called Cow Cows, and it is the sweetest little boba shop. Um, I'll show off the drink that I got later. I did do more on this trip, including going to the International Shopping Center here in Waikiki and a few other things, but I forgot to take videos of them, but this was definitely the highlight of this trip. I didn't get a chance to explore much because I did have to get back to town for school. I ended up getting the Dalgona milk tea, and it actually had Dalgona on top as well. Um, they had this cute little wall with a bow, and I really wanted to like take a video of me with it, but the ugly pig pillows kind of ruined it. Hi. Um, I keep glancing up here because somebody was being taken away by an ambulance here, and I was being mildly nosy, but also trying not to be rude. I never found out what happened. Car in Kailua. This is a mailbox that I actually pass every day, and I first saw it at night when it was lit up like this, and I thought it was so pretty, so I came back the next day to take a picture of it when it was daytime. This is actually across the street from where I work, and it's one of my favorite murals. You can't see it really well, but covered by the tree, there's a picture of these farmers, and it looks like they're planting hearts. I'm sure it's just supposed to be pineapples or something, but it looks like hearts to me. This was just outside of um, a random pharmacy, but I wanted to show it off. This was outside of Target. Definitely not my favorite art that I've seen, but I love the fact that just in random places you'll find art like this. There are a lot of electric boxes painted all around town in different ways. A lot of them have been vandalized, sadly, but I really love the different art and art styles on each of them.
I found out the first night that I got a little chilly that these walls hold heat very well because as I was driving home, I could feel heat coming off the wall. Uh, this was just outside of some random person's house. Uh, he just had these metalwork sculptures. Um, you can't see really well, but on the wall, that's turtle shells. Cute shops. This is a bookstore I've gotten all of my postcards from so far. Um, I've also come a couple times looking for books. Uh, they've got a wide selection of mystery books on the back wall and a bunch of other very interesting looking ones, uh, but I haven't actually gotten around to buying anything for myself yet. I just like how there's books everywhere, like they're so full of books that they've just got them like spilled out into the aisles. I think that this little painting, I assume it's watercolor, is super cute. Um, it has a lot of details for how tiny it is, but one of my favorites is the little cat clerk in the background, and the lady who, I'm not sure if she's a squirrel or something, but she's reading a book in the back and I think she's really cute. This is at that same bookstore, they just add a puppet. I doubt it's for sale, I'm sure it's just decoration, but I thought it was cool. Um, down the same strip mall that the bookstore is in, it, they have a bunch of shops. This is one of them. It's really just a little kid's toy store, but uh, I thought it was really cute because I'm a child. This is a shop pretty close to where I work. It's pretty expensive, but there were a couple things that I kind of wanted, so I may be back. Food. Uh, this is the crepe shop I work at. Um, I like the painted wall, but um, for the most part, I would not recommend coming. Everything is very sweet. This is next door. It's a little bagel shop. I think the chairs look funny. And they're only open Thursday through Saturday, and they have a little coffee cart that comes out, and they sell coffee and bagels, and it's, I got the peppercorn syrup one time from this coffee cart, and it was horrible, so do not try peppercorn syrup. But the bagel shop is all really cute, and they're all very nice. This is just a random restaurant I went to, where you can make, like, burritos or bowls, and I just liked all the writing on the walls. This is one of my favorite shop coffee shops I've gone to. It's actually the first one I went to when I got into town. It's called Rise and Grind. The owner is the sweetest person, as is his wife. Um, I've been here a couple times, and um, this was the first time I had ever gotten a sweet. I got a little coffee cake from here, and it was really good, too. I got an ube latte, and I'm still not quite sure what ube is. Honolulu, a proper exploration. This was a beach in Waikiki. Um, I did not come here by choice. It is just where the bus dropped me off. Uh, I was on a mission to get somewhere else, and I have been told this is the trashiest beach on the island. Um, but it was cool to see other beaches. So far, I'd only been to the one in Kailua. Uh, this was on my way to my destination. I really like the way the trees span out and look like they're multiple trees that are pretending to be one. There was a statue in the middle of this, uh, I guess, park, and I have no idea who it's about because I did not read the main plate, but I love the fact that there were fresh, real flowers all over it, meaning that people actively come here and bring flowers to this. I wanted to show off how dark the trees made it here, but my camera didn't let me. This was the destination that I was so excited to get to. It is one of the cutest shops I've been to, and it's actually at what used to be a wedding venue. I'm not sure if they still do weddings, um, but it's 
a really, really cute cafe. They sell Japanese foods and desserts. This was where I was seated. They were really nice and kept asking if I wanted to be seated, wait to be seated outside. And when there was an available table, they asked if I wanted to move. I wanted to stay inside because I was hot. I thought it was funny that they had such a like nice wet floor sign instead of the classic orange, but they went so far as to make even that a little fancier. The first thing I got was an iced coffee float. I would say the coffee was a little bit acidic, but the ice cream was really good. The next thing I got was a katsu sandwich. I changed the lighting on this because it looked very orange otherwise. Katsu to me tastes a lot like Thanksgiving turkey and that's kind of a jarring thing to have when you're not expecting it so I'm not quite sure how I feel about katsu. For dessert I got a Mont Blanc Parfait. Um, I'm really not sure what all was in it. There was clearly little like cake cookie pieces. There was coffee jelly, which is what that heart is. There was ice cream. Um, there were little pokey sticks. And then I'm not quite sure what the almost spaghetti looking thing is, but the whole parfait was really, really good. This was outside. I asked if it was all right for me to walk around and take videos and they were like, of course. So I'm assuming they get that a lot but everyone here was super nice. Um, also, my entire meal, the food, the drink, and the dessert, it was all only $33 here, and that is super reasonable for how expensive everything out here is. This is the little chapel that they have on property, and it's really pretty. I would 100% get married here. I wasn't able to go inside, or at least I didn't try, but just seeing it from the outside was really pretty. I wanted to see into the upper room, but I wasn't able to. This is called the Wailing Wall. It is a picture of a whale by an artist named Whalen, and so it's a pun or a play on words, and I was told that by the lady behind me on the bus. Uh, it was an ugly picture because I was on the bus and bus windows are always very dirty. This was um, at the Ala Moana, one of the biggest outdoor malls, I think the biggest outdoor mall, um, and I just wanted to show off the big garage space. I have gone there three times now, I think, and every time I go, no matter how you enter, it feels shady. Like, there's no big entrance. You always enter through, like, a garage or through an off alleyway, and I'm sure there's a major entrance. I just haven't found it. I took this video to point out just how far each direction goes. Any direction you go, you can go further, and I point that out more later, but I also took videos of different storefronts just because I think rich people make their displays prettier than their clothes. This was, again, just to show off how far you can go in one direction. This wasn't even really part of the mall. This was a, like, the outside wall, almost like an alleyway offshoot of the mall, and there were still so many, like, stores down it and I thought that was like really impressive that they were just everywhere. This is one of my favorite shops and I was so close to buying this little keychain because it's so fun to play with and it makes such a satisfying sound when you spin it. I did not get three in one. I sped this video up a lot due to the fact that it is a very long video and this is a very big store but it's a candy store and in it, they have a bunch of mascots of different candy or sweets. They had Hello Kitty for some reason. I took this quickly because there was a mother and a daughter, and I didn't want them to be, like, wondering why I was taking a picture with a jelly bean. Uh, 
Uh, this whole display was made of jelly beans. I don't know if they were real or not, but it was really cool. They also had a bunch of Funko Pops for different um, food brands. They had a little Oreo cafe here that served a bunch of Oreo themed drinks and treats. I didn't get anything because I don't like Oreo and sugar that much, but I thought it was a cool idea. This was just to show off the outside of that whole store to show how big it is. There was a Snoopy store where it took up multiple empty lots and they were all closed off due to some like mystery Snoopy hunt that you could like buy tickets for. Uh, there was none available when I looked, but I thought that was really interesting. It's a really cute store and they've got a like bunch of Snoopy memorabilia. They've got a couple things not specifically related to Snoopy, but it's mostly just him. I just thought this was pretty. Once again, pretty display. This was when I decided I wanted to try taking vertical videos. I will avoid that from now on because I think it's just kind of a jarring look. This made me think of paper airplanes or paper cranes. This was my favorite display, probably just because of the book, but it was really pretty. I like this one because of all the instruments they threw in. Once again, just thought it was pretty. This is a koi pond uh, that I saw the first time I ever came, and I could actually get the fish to come really close to me. They weren't nearly as scared as I would have thought, but I couldn't touch them. It was right next to this Dior cafe. Uh, very pretty. I wanted to go up and get a lemonade, you know, just buy something cheap, and it was $15 for a lemonade. So I did not get anything. Maybe one day I will get something when I emerge. Um, but they had these cool jars. Uh, the whole thing was really pretty looking. It had this china looking print all over it. And of course it had a tiger and a giraffe. Uh, I went back to Cow Cows because I absolutely loved it. And this time I got a rose tea um, and it had jelly in it instead of boba. Um, it was pretty good, I really liked it, and made these cute little cow punch cards. I wanted to show up how tall the buildings are in Honolulu, but there were only two near me at this point, so that's all you get. Last but not least, I have a very special announcement. As of January 29th, 2003, I am officially baptized. All right. Yeah, that probably might help. <laughs> so once again, tell us your name. Stephanie. Is there anything you want to share about getting why you want to get baptized? Uh, I have wanted to get baptized for the past two years, and I'm just really excited I can. I have always really wanted to be able to say I'm baptized. I'm like a child of God. This is my moment. You know, family, she just walked in here this morning. She's a brand new, brand new. And you know, God knew one more was coming. For some reason, I decided to grab, you know, extra stuff. And here she is from Texas, Stephanie from Texas. Amen. Amen.
When I got baptized, they also gave me a shirt that said, I have decided, and this shell necklace, I it has a name, I don't remember what they call them, but I like the sound it makes.